Hey guys, it's Creeper King 101 and today we're going to be doing gaming news with Creeper King or Creeper King Gaming News. So we're going to be talking about the new Mortal Kombat 11 pack number one, which I'm actually excited about and I will be getting into news like that. Um, before and as you saw, it said viewer discretion is advised. Hopefully, it says that due to the gruesome sights and fatalities that we'll be playing on as I talk. Because I don't really know how to edit different videos together, so that's what you have so far. Um, so, channel news. Uh, so, gaming info will be a new thing I was thinking about doing. If you guys want me to keep doing it, I will do other games too. Just recommend stuff that's coming out for other games, and I will try my best to get info on that and then share it out through my platform. Uh... Now let's get on with this MK11 pack info. So this pack will cost for early access forty dollars, and me personally, I think that's a little bit too much. I know it's early access, but and the game's around forty-five dollars to fifty. So I think the fact that it's only five to ten dollars off is kind of expensive for all the stuff you get included in the game. But um, there will be six DLCs, seven exclusive skins. And if you get early access, you will get a download code for Ninja Mime Johnny Cage. And there will be seven new sets of gear. So let's get on the DLCs. Sh there will be Shang Tsung, Sindel, Nightwolf, and Spawn, who I'm surprised is actually in here. And two others, supposedly Ash Williams from the Evil Dead franchise and the Terminator. Early access releases June 18th with Shang Tsung first and then the fighters are released one at a time. So each week another fighter will come out, supposedly. So let's get it on Shang Tsung. Um, so fatality spoiler, because I'm going to be talking about his fatalities and what he can do. So, yeah, just telling you. So his first fatality, which you see in the trailer, the original trailer, is includes Kintar ripping apart the opponent from the inside out. First his arms, then the top of his, and then his other arms. And then he just rips them in half, and then out comes the full Kintaro. Um, I actually enjoy that fatality. It was one of the more gruesome ones. I think stuff that has somebody coming from inside out is always kind of crazy, like Noob Cybots. Um, or the one where he gets his clone or whatever. And make them come from the inside out. Um, so, tell me what you think about that one. Um, his second fatality is looking as if he chains the opponent up and then has souls rip the skeleton out of the opponent. Which was gruesome, but I think it was kind of a um, cool way they kind of put it due to how he's like a soul taker and stuff. So, I think it was actually kind of cool how they put that in there. But you can, you can find the video if you just look up Shang um, Song Fatalities because a bunch of people have the videos out. Um, let's see. Alright, sorry, I had to check on something. Alright, so let's go over the characters one more time. So, Shang Song, of course, he will have the ability to turn into all the different ninjas. I think Sub Zero to freeze, Scorpion's chain, Ermac to uh, do his um, toss, Smoke to deflect stuff, and Reptile slide. So I, I like how they included all the different ninjas because I think that's kind of cool subject. Well, how just before he turned into every person, now it's mainly the ninjas. So I find that quite cool. Um. You won't see it in the video that is showing right now, but his x-ray, or fatal blow as they call it now, is first he, I think, can't remember if he freezes them. All in order it includes Noob Saiyawa smashing their head, Scorpion slitting their throat with his kunai on his chain, and then, like, uh, the fatality showing. And then... I remember it had to do with something with Sub Zero, I think, but I can't remember it right now. Uh, all right. 
So, Shang Tsung will have two different skins. He will have his old skin and his um, movie skin, which I think I like how they put that in there. So, his movie skin is from the, I can't remember what year it was, 1997 maybe, a movie, Mortal Kombat. Uh, he also says, Your Soul is Mine, which was also from the movie. So, I like how they had a little teaser in there from the movie. So, so the other characters that will be there are Sindel, which was, I mainly only saw her in Mortal Kombat 3 and Mortal Kombat 2011. But she was, she was most likely in a lot of other games. But I actually did use her in Mortal Kombat 9, so I'm excited to see her back. We have Nightwolf, who I um, showed out in the Mortal Kombat gameplay where I was talking about Green Axe and stuff like that. So, I, I guessed it, so I guess that's kind of cool. I actually use Nightwolf a lot in the in Mortal Kombat 9, so I'm excited to see him back. Spawn, I don't know a lot about. I don't even know what he does, but I looked at pictures of him, and he looks like he'll be a cool character. <clears throat> now, Ash Williams and the Terminator. So, the reason that people think it's Ash Williams, which now it's all but confirmed at this point, it's at the end of the trailer, you can hear a chainsaw sound, and blood going on the words typed. So, I'm pretty dead on that it's going to be Ash. Because when I saw the trailer like two minutes after it was released. Because I was watching Mortal Kombat videos. I, as soon as I heard that I was like, oh, well it's going to be Ash. And then for the Terminator. It's because if you listen carefully you can hear the Terminator 2 Judgment Day sound in the background. And he's been an icon for a while. Um, he's having another or another Terminator movie coming out. Which, I don't know. It might be good, it might not. Well, no whoop, it's going to be good or not. Um, well, Ash, I think most likely his fatalities will include the chainsaw or his shotgun. And then Terminator probably involving the blade hand. From Terminator 2 Judgment Day. Because I don't really know what else. Like maybe a machine gun out of his hand. I don't know. But uh, I'm excited to see them in there. Uh, let's see what time we're at. Alright, almost 8 minutes. Uh, that's really all the info. It's releasing June 18th. Like I said earlier. Uh, you can um, get it early access now I think though. But, yeah. So, the shout out of the day goes to Uncaged Games for the Mortal Kombat info. I also got info off of Reddit, which I can't remember the user, which it was. Um, so, if you're watching this, which is a really unlikely chance, thank you. Um, and I also got it off the Mortal Kombat website. Um, so, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to load the like button and crush that subscribe button. Whoever does this, keep graming my creepers.